I believe there are two reasons why we come to church day to day each week. The first reason I believe is to remain the encouraging words we hear from here and the activities that take place. They will keep us under the feet of Jesus till we see his face. The second reason I believe is to let our community, our friends, and our families, and the people around us to know that Jesus loves them as well. Now, the child says, Say, Ma, oh, my train, where she are, you're famous for enough for you, who said, Yes, we are made a doing. I believe the first reason we do very well in. Or we try our very best to do it. But the second reason, I believe we don't do our best so well. Not that we don't want to do it. We do, but for some reason, the devil knows that's what God is really want us to do. So he makes us busy for nothing. And yes, you say, he stresses, he gives us sickness, just name it, anything he can do. Today, I would like to encourage you about something and to whet your appetite about something that you can do. It's very simple. This thing I'm going to describe is about witnessing. Now, the American, any others, I've tested it, I've tried it, and it's one example that gives total peace if you are stressed out. Or, for example, if it's too much for you and you want total peace, tranquility, total peace, this is one of the things that you can do. <laughs> Our personal ministry department, they've got tracks, little tracks about the word of God that we can give out to our community, our friends, our work, and so many people around us. You can also order them from the conference. There's different kinds, so many of them. We all have neighbors or we have people living around us. We all have day of our work that we don't, or a day that we just relax at home in a garden or with the kids to the park. Oh, Whatever we may choose to do, we all have time that we want to take. Uh, away yeah, from it. Yeah. So before you leave church or when you come here each week, you can just take a bunch from the personal ministry department. When you go home, you can wake up in the middle of the night and you can speak to God and ask God, where would you like me to take this track? And you will hear the voice of God. And even if you don't hear the voice of God, just tell God, I'm going to take this track to my street. I'm going to knock on the doors and I'm going to live right out. So you pray over it and you can write church website at the back or you can choose to write your telephone number at the back of it. Now dear say oh yeah or they qua which match as a free your website at which now wow phone number at your twitch. You may not know what to say. You can ask Jesus to tell you what to say and how to say it. The first time you do it, you ask your Holy, the Holy Spirit to fill you. Sometimes it's difficult. You may be nervous. You may not have done it before. And you may not have confidence. But that's the beginning. Because 
If you have children, go with the kids. It's even beautiful. And you are teaching them something for life. If you are nervous, we all have friends at church. Decide with your friend. Pray together. Arrange a time together that you are both comfortable and you go together. And when you go to the door, you just knock the door. If anyone comes out, good morning, good afternoon. I'm a believer in the community and I've got this good news I would like to share with you. In your own time, please have a read. When you come home, after you've done all that you can possibly do in your power and your strength, when you come home, you kneel down and you pray for those doors and the people that listened, the people that took and the people that did not take. And you continue to pray for them each time. Each, I don't know about you, but I'd like to imagine things because we've been waiting for Jesus to come for a long time. And my Bible tells me the great commission is that we need to tell others about Jesus. And when everyone has heard the good news, then Jesus will come. And I don't know about you, no matter how much I have in this world, there's a cry in me that is never enough. I want to be home. That's it. I want to be at the feet of Jesus. And so, you know, when once we've done this, I don't know, just imagine that if all of us Adventists in our community, everyone is doing this, this simple thing I've described. Just think of how long it would take Jesus to come. Just imagine. I don't know. I want you to imagine how long it would take Jesus to come. I don't know. I would like one of the youth to imagine how long it would take Jesus to come. I think it would take six months. Or less. It won't take less than that, more than that. Or uh, even I'm less. Be because if everyone is to hear the good news and give their heart to Jesus, he will come and take us home and there will be no troubles. But somebody may say, you see, it's so simple. It's as simple as we... We make things complicated because we reason and the devil allow us to reason. It's as simple as that. The benefit of this is when you come home for some reason, after you finish doing this and it becomes a regular part of you, you feel so at peace. As if Jesus is in your house. And say, you Not that your troubles has gone away, but for some reason the pain and the stink is not there anymore. And yes, when we do the work of God, we are at peace and we feel at peace and we love each other. It's natural to do that because the Spirit of God will give you power to do even more, more and more and you want to do it more and more and when you haven't done it, you don't feel good enough. I'm pleading with you that you try. Give it a try and once you've done it, 
tell your friends, your Adventist friends who do not worship with us here. Na me sremo pa se fa kufie na o de ye sohwe na o sohwe o sohwe a eh dance yen de obenye film no fa che eh wadan for onye kwahweni no ka che no. And also you can tell them to tell their Adventist friend and we all keep telling each other. So imagine the whole world. Yeah, catch me na kwa fo nyina na say e ko wi ase nyina na say ye nyina sorry say ye nya be say adwuma ye a. Then we will go home. Any if you know you been yaku fi. There will be no more sorrows. Or how be a na reho e to be trap. It may not be the trap. You may have a way of witnessing to others. And for and yet say ye ko teche sima kata no kwa no. Which made the Jesus modern say actually will be work for us. I will encourage you to continue with us because it's really a medicine, a true medicine, true true medicine. Now I mentioned say at dance dey no eh ye adura e man asumdwie e man akoma mu ye pefe ye say ye ni adwendwen bia nyesa oni hawo. Now so and now say we do who other say no o hawo no o de man Jesus. 